Hello, it's me, the TMI again. Right, my next oil invention for filtering waste oil. Again, for those who make biofuel or waste oil for running in your vehicle. The big one, that would do 100 to 1,000 litres at a time. But for those who want to filter 20 litres, 40, 100, and straight into your processor, I'll bring you the Mighty White. Right, filter here. The actual filter size is 38 inches by 8 inches. That's 38 inches inside of mesh by 8 inches tall. We're talking just over 300 square inches of filtering area. Nice as a feather. Nice heavy jewelry handle. He's just over 850 grams. Our height, 11 inches. We've got a nice big diameter at 12 inches, so we can't miss when pouring our oil. And around the whole side, we got 688 holes, all of 10 millimeters in size. Right, inside, a very fine mesh, like the big one. We got 200 holes per linear inch. The wire size, is 0 0.044 millimeters and the size of the holes are 0 0.077 millimeters this is very fine we want to get this oil perfect right what I'm going to do now is show you 40 liters filtered straight into my processor again saving me time saving me money and I'm ready to make my buyer so let's get filtering Got me filter in place on top of me processor, nice and firm, it won't move about. I wanted you to get good camera footage so you can see this filter for yourself to all the bits we want to catch. 40 litres, this is the first time I've filmed this filtering, so hopefully, like everything else, it won't go wrong. And you see for yourself, we have in the bottom an inch border. This is a catch of solid bits. We're not too worried what goes in there. It just go straight in. Because all these bits will be caught in the bottom. You don't splash too much. Usually you can get to about 15 inches if you can get it fast enough. There's our first 20. next 20 again just pour straight in I'm not worried about what gets caught like we say we've got a nice big aperture pour this straight in right there is our 40 litres straight in, any bits straight in. Right, there you go. This is cold filtering. We don't want to waste money heating it. But we want to catch all those tiny little bits. So that when we come to test our oil, or if you're using this oil to run straight into your vehicle, this is finer than your fuel filter. There you go. You can start to see the bits at the top. We now have filtered we're up to 35 litres. We're only on just two and a half minutes. What I'm going to do now is give you a good camera close-up so you can see all the bits on the side. This is this is what will block your filter socks up, filter bags if you use them. If it is that you're using thick fatty oil, just leave this to settle overnight with the amount of weight on it. 
we'll go through in the morning. The good thing about this is, this filter, dead easy to clean. There you go, it's near enough at the bottom now. Dead easy to clean. Hot soapy water, you can submerge it. Nice soft handled brush, clean all the bits off the edge. Hose it down, turn it upside down, let it drip dry. Then we're ready to use again. Just to show you, if you can see these little black bits on the edge. Let me, uh, Again, I didn't know what this oil was like, I acquired it this week, but if you see all those tiny little bits, that's what usually blocks up your fuel fuel filter if you if you don't filter it right. This is through the black bags. If you swirl it around, it unblocks the holes, sends the little bits down to the bottom. We're at the bottom now. But as you can see we've caught quite a few bits around the edge this is what we want to catch there you can see and I'll be full of it there we go we're on the bottom we have our little inch bit on the bottom right how do we get rid of the bits on the bottom all we have to do is turn the filter on its side because the inch barrier at the bottom We'll catch all the chips and pieces. Turn it on its side. You can see nice oil coming through. Tip it forward, we get all the nice golden oil we want, and all the bits sticking in the bottom. Again, just like the big one, do a bit of panning. And hopefully we should have 40 litres with all our bits in the bottom. As you can see, still coming through well. We've got 688 holes, so we've got enough we can mess about with. As you can see now, on the bottom, You see all the sludge inside. Just quickly get this out. I wanted an inch barrier. This was to catch any big bits you don't see. This ain't usually too bad. It's what you can usually get. Any chips, bits of sausage. There we go, we're near enough done. You can just see, we've got quite a collection of debris here. There we go, within less than five minutes, we've got 40 litres, straight down to 77 microns. And as you can see, the debris we got left inside. There you go. This is a bit you can't catch. We never always see. But we always see them when they're blocked up in our filter bags. So there you go. That's the Mighty White. Again, just 38 inches by 8 inches. We've got 300 square inch of filtering. To give you a rough idea, the filter bags are usually about 180, maybe 190. So we got 300 here. Again, easy to keep clean. We can use this again without chucking it in the washing machine, spending hours drying it, or just wasting money on cleaning something that doesn't have as good a lifespan as this. There you go, the Mighty White. Thank you. Once again, another great idea by the 
Mad Inventor. This is TMI saying TTFN for now. Bye bye. <laughs>